Here we have a sine function to graph y equals 3 sine at 3x minus pi. And the instructions are to sketch one period of the graph and label key points. So we're going to focus on the main period. So normally the sine function will start at 0. And it goes for 2 pi units. That's the period. And then, of course, it continues to the right and to the left. And we're just going to look at one, what we call the main period, from 0 to 2 pi. And how is that affected by the changes this one has? Obviously, the amplitude is going to affect the stretch of the graph. There's nothing added over here, so we don't have a vertical transformation here. But the period is going to change. So we want to relabel those main points. So normally, it would start at 0 and go through 2 pi, that's one period. And then we label the main points. At any time you want to stop the video and try it on your own, go ahead and do so. But let's look at the relevant information here. The amplitude is the absolute value of the coefficient here, which is 3. So let's go ahead and put that in. This is 3. And the period of the sine function is 2 pi. And this is going to be altered because it has a coefficient here of 3. So we divide that by 3, and that will give me the period of this particular graph. The phase shift, one way to do it is just take this and set it equal to 0 and solve it. 3x minus pi is equal to 0. So 3x. We go to pi, divide by 3, x will equal to pi over 3. So everything shifts over pi over 3 units. So it starts, and instead of 0, the main period was started pi over 3. So that will be the starting point for this period. And then the end point. We extend that for one period. So we had 2 pi to this, pi over 3. That gives me 3 pi over 3, which gives me pi. So the first point of the period is at pi over 3. And then, so the graph will go up like this, come down, and then end up over here at pi over pi. And notice the, the difference of these two is 2 pi over 3, which is, of course, what it's supposed to be. Yes, that's your period. And, of course, the phase shift, we said, put it over here, pi over 3. And that's the information that we need for the, for the graph. Let's go ahead and clear this then. This is what we have. So instead of zero, the graph would go like this, and then come down, and then come out. Instead of starting at zero, it's going to start at pi over three. And it's got to end adding two pi over three. That gives me pi. It's going to end over here. And then the graph is going to go up three units, and then come down over here. That's going to go down three units, end up over here. Close enough. That's that's what one pair would look like. So then we want to label these points. So obviously, this this first point is going to be pi pi over three comma zero. That's for this point, and then the end point is going to be pi zero also. That's where it ends. And then we need the other mid middle points. So a couple of ways to do it here. We could just take the period divided by 4 and take it from there. Or I could just say the midpoint of this right here. Pi over 3 to pi. Right here. This one would be 2 pi. Over 3. 
I'm just adding these two values here, dividing by, by 2 to get that point. And then to get this one here, the midpoint here, add these two up. That gives me 3 pi over 3. This pi divided by 2, this is pi over 2. And then I want this, this point right here, add these up, get 2 pi over 3 and pi. Get your LCD there. That'll give me 5 pi. Over 6. Let's label these points then. Pi over 3. And 0. That will correspond to that point right there. And then this point, another key point. There's 5 for this particular one. 5 for the cosine. This point right at the peak up here. Pi over 2. And the amplitude is 3. And my graph's a little bit off here, but that's why I label that as pi over 2 and 3. And I come to this one right here, and that's going to be 2 pi over 3. 0. And then 5 pi over 6 for this one. And we go down 3 units. So this point down here. Again, this, the graph's a little bit off, but 5 pi over 6. And we go down 3 units in the negative direction. So this would be a negative 3. And then the final or the fifth point right here at the end is the point pi and zero. So we got pi three over zero, or pi, pi three, pi over three and zero here, pi over two and three up here, intercept here, two pi over three and zero. And a low point over here, 5 pi over 6 and negative 3. And then the end point is pi and 0. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.